if you know you're entombed, your cannibal corpse, your hardcore obituary, bands like that, then you'll know about unrecognisable metal logos. And that is the name of this beer. Unrecognisable metal logos from Asvez. But what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today, quite excited, a very heavy metal themed video review we've got today. And I'm in a very unheavy metal themed outfit today. But the beer this is what it's all about. And this is unreadable metal logos in this black metal type of can. So if you know your extreme metal bands, whether that be in sort of... Um, you know, the death metal or black metal, you see a lot of these types of logos. Basically, you have no idea what they say. I mean, bands like Cannibal Corpse and Entombed, um, <sighs> Obituary, those sort of bands have very similar logos like that. And there's loads of more that I've never even heard of the bands, let alone be able to recognise them from their logos. So as they thought, they do a, a, a can of beer. And this is an IPA. Really clever that the ABV of this beer is 6.66%, um, obviously in line with this all heavy metal, number of the beast sort of stuff. Uh, uh, but in terms of what it's got in it, it's got Citra, Mosaic and El Dorado. So let's crack it open, stick it in a glass and see if it's the heaviest of heavy metal. Really like these sort of quirky can designs. And as let's do nice cans, but they haven't really sort of done anything of this sort of level before. So maybe they've got a... Um, one of their team is a is a black metal enthusiast, um, but certainly beer in a glass. This is this looks incredible. Look at the colour of that bright yellow, tropical juice. Absolutely lovely. I I poured it expecting something like jet black for some reason. I mean, I, this is probably more the sort of beer that you'd expect. Uh, the beer name, I mean, and uh, and obviously the can and the art and the sort of theme to be a sort of a dark stout or something. But we've got a very bright coloured tropical IPA. Let's see what the aroma's like. Oh, it smells really good, really tropical. Quick, but it's obviously very yellow. We've got literally half a finger of head that's disappearing very quickly. Again, looking great, but smelling amazing. Oh, it's it's just got that mango, passion fruit, guava, papaya. There's bits of pineapple, grapefruit, and citrus, citrus fruits. Oh, it smells really good. It's got that sort of um, sort of peach and real ripened sort of fruits. It smells incredible, and I can't wait to drink it. So, cheers, everyone. Oh, that's really, really good. Lovely soft body, bit soft metal, not hardcore enough, but it's quite soft in terms of its uh, its body. Low levels of carbonation. The fruit flavours, I mean, there's so much going on. Mango is definitely in there and passion fruit. But you've even got some of those sort of, you know, more New Zealand type of flavours or Southern Hemisphere sort of flavours. You know, you've got the... You've got gooseberry and melon coming in and you've got kiwi fruit. There's there's quite a lot of different complexity to the grapefruit flavour. There's a nice sharpness there. It's very, very hoppy. There's a big hoppy sort of flavour to it. 6.66% is quite high. Um, uh, it's not overly high, but it's it, it's definitely moving. There's a little bit of real, real big hop flavours in there. I'm going to just pour the rest of it out and have a quick look, see if there's a date on it, because I think this is fairly brewed, fairly new. Canned, canned on the 19th of January. So it's only like two, three weeks, less than three weeks old. Very, very fresh um, tasting. Oh, I should have bought more than one can of this. There's a flavour to it. When I taste it, it reminds me of those sort of the sort of flavour that you get with a Polly's beer. It's just it's just a real mix, a real fruit salad flavour of, of lots of different things. Very sort of tropical, more on the tropical side. There's that grapefruit coming in and then there's that sort of fresh, 
almost like sharp pink grapefruit flavours coming out, or sweeter sort of grapefruit. There's lemons, there's a real zest of lime in there. There's so much going on with this beer. Three hops, I mean, El Dorado is, a, is something a bit... We don't get that huge amount uh, of beers, but obviously Citra and Mosaic, but it's just really well put together. For me, this is what this is what an IPA should be. It's absolutely spot on. It's got so much going on, so much juice, so much flavour, low bitterness though, soft and smooth. Every taste you get more of that big hit of flavour, but it doesn't, it's not too much. You're not getting any sort of, alcohol burn it's it's very hoppy you get a lot of hoppiness um obviously a lot of hop forward ipas are, are gonna you know you get that hoppiness but for me this reminds me of some of the best that you get from Polly's. some of the best beers i think this is probably the best asves vex beer that i've had obviously i'm really you know i'm well into i'm by, bought into this great uh concept in terms of its artwork and i just think yeah should have bought more of these. So if you see this one, I would definitely recommend buying it. It's very, very good. It's a great IPA. I mean, you just have to look at it. It looks incredible. It smells incredible and it tastes really good. And it's all wrapped up in this black metal can, uh, which is, is, you know, it's just weird. It just seems like it should be a stout with this. But I'm quite glad because I like the concept and I don't really like stouts that much. And this is the sort of beer that I want to see more of. So let me know. Firstly, what's your favourite extreme black metal band? Is there one? You know, are you a big lover of extreme metal? Um, let me know some some quirky uh, logos. I saw one called Sperm Bank or something it was called, and that had some sort of like or Sperm Swamp. That was it, and that had also that had a very similar sort of uh, cover like that, but it was very sort of swampy and. Like a, like a spider's web almost. Um, but, you know, there's lots of these sort of bands kicking out there. I know a few of my friends are big fans of these this sort of metal. It's a bit too hardcore for me. I'm a bit soft, a bit too soft for that. Uh, I like my metal a bit more on the progressive and soft side. You know, a bit like my beers. I like them soft, you know, in terms of their mouthfeel. And that's what I like with, with, my, with, my, with my metal bands, really. And extreme stuff is just a little bit too extreme. Don't mind the odd growl now and again, but when it's all growling, that's just too much. But anyway, I'm diverging onto black metal music. Let me know what your favourite black metal band is, what your favourite logo is. You know, is it all about the logos? Logos are important in metal. Um, I think there's only it's one of those sort of genres of music where the logo really is, is all about telling you what the band's all about, really. Um, but the, this beer is great. And as Vez, Liverpool Brewery, local to me, cracking i think every beer I, every beer i have from them gets better and this is definitely up there with one of the best ones that i've had from them so guess get some scores in a minute and well what else can i say like and subscribe um i can't promise you a review of the latest death metal release but there's plenty of rock coming onto the channel soon as well um but this is a great beer if you like new england style ipas that look like this and taste full of tropical wonderfulness, then definitely give it a go. So, black metal is your thing, and unreadable metal logos are your thing too, then give this one a go. Very, very good. Let's get them scores. Until then, keep on rocking. Okay, the scores are in four unreadable metal logos it's an ipa we've got citra mosaic and el dorado it's 6.66 percent um it's the number of the beast it's a really good beer a it's a great all-round package for me uh, but let's go through those scores um firstly aroma appearance flavor Value for money. My overall experience. And that gives not only a recommended, but a highly recommended heaviest of heavy metal score off. Yeah, this one rocks.